Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Um, so here we've got Marionette. This is the puppet that we worked on yesterday. Um, I'm really eager to try Motion Library on her. Um, the only thing that I did to prepare her, um, I kind of was looking through Motion Library again and I realized the majority of the motions have the arms in front. So I went back in and changed my layers to get the arms in front of the torso. Um, they're not in front of her head. They're still behind her head, uh, so potentially we'd want to um, change that. And I did have to change some of the artwork. I'm still not 100% satisfied. Um, you can tell I'm not the artist, but having the arms in front, of course, gave her a problem with her chest, um, so being covered with her bicep. So I still have that kind of gap, but it's something to keep in mind if you know your character is going to use motion library, you're probably going to want the arms and legs in front of the torso. Like right now she kicks, I don't know if there's any in motion library where it's in front, but um, you know, your mileage may vary depending on your layers. So it's hooked up exactly like we did yesterday, except for that I moved the arms to the front. I dealt with the, the wrong dangles. I also um, made her boobs jiggle just slightly. I might adjust that still, but I figured, hey, she's a superhero. They're always pretty chesty. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I didn't want to lose this puppet, um, but I didn't think we had to start from scratch. So what I'm going to do is export this puppet, um, but I'm going to call it Marionette Motion Library. And then what I'm going to do is import that puppet into my current project. And now when I make my changes, I'll work on the motion library puppet. Another thing you might want to do is detach the artwork from your original puppet. So if you're going to make changes on your motion library puppet and you don't want it to affect your original puppet, what you're going to want to do is be on your motion library puppet, open the artwork, save it as Marionette. Let's go to my project file. I'm going to save it as Marionette Motion Library. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Marionette Motion Library. Okay. And now we'll go back into Character Animator, and when you're on the parent layer, you can see where it's where what artwork it's attached to. And I'm just going to go in and find that file that I just made. Oh, did it not save? I hate OneDrive sometimes. There and attach it to the new motion library version. And that shouldn't change anything, but now when we go, if we make any changes to this artwork, it's not gonna affect our original puppet. Okay, so what I'm gonna do um, on the motion library puppet, I know it doesn't play nice with draggers, so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna remove all my dragger behaviors. So right hand, left hand, left leg and right leg. And then I'm gonna go into my rigging and delete all those draggables. So there was one there. There was one there. There was one there. I'm going to go into my body and I'm going to add a waist tag. Um, the other thing is it doesn't need ankles, so I'm going to go into my legs and remove the ankle tags. I'm going to go into frontal and I th think if I'm correct, I remove head behavior. I'm going to go into head 
I can't remember if I make head um, independent or not. Um, then the other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go into here and I'm going to add body behavior and I'm going to add motion library. Yeah, let's see. I think that's all we have to do. We might have to jimmy around with the, with the head uh, settings and make it non-independent, but let's pull the motion library version in and see how we did. Okay, so now if we go into motion library and let's select dance and our favorite Gangnam Style. Okay, so it's pretty good already. Let's go back into rig and take independence off head. Did I tag head as neck? And there we go. That's all we have to do. So um, there was, you know, I was kind of under debate, should I fix the skirt? But I thought, you know what, I bet it has a slit in the side, just like Supergirl, so I'm not gonna worry too much, but that's another thing to keep in mind. Um, I might actually adjust the dangles to make it move more, but really adding motion library, like now I've got both versions of the puppet and uh, motion library is just amazing. Like, <laughs> um, and then um, to, I don't know if we want to um, uh, do any recording with it, but yeah, all you do is record one motion and then I'm gonna move my timer over. I'm gonna select a different dance. Let's say, let's see how hip hop looks. So you can see why you'd want the arms in front and you can see my artwork isn't great. Like, um, I think next time I request a superhero, I'm going to ask them to keep that in mind for the design that the biceps need to be in front of the torso. Um, but let's, let's pick another one anyway. It's just so fun. There, this one. So I'm going to record one motion and then just blend the two. And now when we turn off this and play, it just looks so amazing. And it really couldn't be easier. There's a few artifacts and things. Um, the other thing you might want to do, like see how her hands are staying at the same angle. So what I'm going to do is go into my left arm, my left forearm. I'm going to take my hand. Oh, maybe I already did it. And make it independent. And I'm going to make sure it's on hinge. Um, if you want the hands to not move or to not stay horizontal to the scene, um, you'd leave them on weld. So yeah, that's basically all there is to um, changing. If you've done your standard rigging correctly, adding motion library is is really easy. And I tell you, I I am just loving it. <laughs> Oh, because I'm playing. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot that I didn't have it activated. But really, she it's just so great. The the motion library. Ooh, I'm going to have to adjust my dangles too. But motion library, really, I, I'm so impressed with this behavior. When I did my experimental rigging with it um, earlier, when it was still in beta, um, I hadn't experimented with it as much. But really, uh, it's wonderful. Like... Uh, it couldn't couldn't be better so yay congratulations everyone at character animator you just did a spectacular job um anyway enjoy your afternoon everybody um i might do captain animator just right from scratch like i think um there's quite a few that you'd want the arms in front of the head and stuff so i might do a, a second rigging just like a motion library right from scratch um but anyway if you want to do a quick conversion just to see how your puppet looks that's the way i would do it have a great afternoon, everybody. Thanks for joining me as always. Take care. Bye.